Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to my channel. Today's video is gonna be about my favorite, my favorite <laughs> Zaflora hacks and tips that I just love to use it with. The first one is probably the most like obvious one, but as a surface cleaner. Um, I've been using Zaflora as a surface cleaner for <clears throat> um, almost six years now. Losing my voice. Um, my dad actually got me into it. Uh, I found well, cleaner's not that expensive, but I went through quite a lot, and I didn't want to use um, a bleached um, surface cleaner because my son, um, when I was at my mum's house, she used to press, she used to spray his eye chair and stuff for like a bleach cleaner, and I used to hate it because, yeah, I was always afraid that some of it will linger and then get on the food, and then obviously my son would be eating stuff that's got bleach on it. I didn't like um, that, so. My dad showed me Sephora, obviously it being antibacterial, so it kind of does the same job, but it's not as harmful. And yeah, when I moved out, when my son was eight months old, I started using Sephora in an empty bottle, and then yeah, just use it as a surface cleaner, and I have done for years. So I've never had to buy my own surface cleaner, unless it was for like kitchen or bathroom or polish. So when it comes to like the sides in the kitchen, I spray it with Sephora or something that's like on a table or anything like that, I just spray it with Sephora. Um, I think it's just the best thing to do, especially with like fridges and things like that. Obviously it cleans them, but it's antibacterial, so obviously, yeah, I like it. The second one kind of leads off from the first tip and that is as a floor cleaner. I use a spray mop. Um, I just find it so easier to clean the floors with a spray mop. And that's what I do, I put it in there as well. Um, you can on my mop put one side as a cleaner and one side as water and just swap it over. But I just put both of the sides that are diluted to the flora. Just, I don't have to keep like switching the switch then to change size every time I spray it. So yeah, I use it as a spray mop. Um, obviously it's not just as a great cleaner, but it smells amazing too. So yeah beneficials in both ways really. The third one is, I've not actually been doing this for a long time, probably the only month or so, and you've probably also seen it in like my favourite um, cleaning hacks, and that is using Sephora in your bin. I've recently kind of changed it up a bit. Um, what I used to do is get um, some tissue paper or some kitchen roll and just put a few drops of Sephora on it and then throw it at the bottom of my bin. I have a compressor bin. So on my lid, there is a filter that you can put things in there to kind of take away the odour. Um, so what I've done in that, instead of dropping like, tissue paper full of the floor in the bottom, I then just put the floor on that because obviously it naturally takes away odours but when I open my bin, because it's from the top, I can smell the floor pretty much instantly. Um, so yeah, I, I like doing that now but obviously if you've got a regular bin, Throw it at the bottom. Number four, I've also been doing this recently, but probably a lot longer than the other one, is having some flora in your hoover. I've been doing this for about two or three months now, and I absolutely love it. I have a Dyson, um, and what I do is there's like a little circle bit that you can take out, and, and you can put drops of things on there. So what I do is I put a couple drops of the flora on it, put it back in, and then when I hoover, it kind of heats the flora up, and it kind of smells amazing so every single time I hoover my house smells amazing and that's like a bonus <laughs> um, so I'm not just cleaning it but it smells amazing as well and I've not had any problems with it so obviously I was worried about having water on this and it's because it's a drop it doesn't affect my hoover whatsoever it just makes it smell absolutely amazing and I love it so much so the final one which is the fifth one is in the sink there's different ways you can do this, um, like when I clean the sink I put some Zaflora down as well so the steam kind of brings up the smell. Yeah, filling my sink up um, with Zaflora and hot water, that's one of my favourites as well. And I learnt that one from Mrs Hinch, I did my own, like my favourite Mrs Hinch tips, I'll pop that in the iCards if you want to go check that out. But basically, to kind of like clean your cloths and things like that, she gets a kettle full of boiling water, pop in a cap full of Sephora, put the whole lot of the kettle in the sink, and then put in the sponges and stuff like that. So I put like bottle cleaners and cloths, everything like that. So what it basically does is it smells amazing throughout the night, and you have a lovely smelling kitchen in the morning. 
because she leaves it overnight to do it because obviously you might need your cloths throughout the day <laughs> so when she goes to bed she puts her cloths to bed and I just love that um, as well because it kind of like it makes you feel like you've come downstairs to a nice clean and fresh smelling house there is a few more hacks and tips as well with Sephora but I just went through my favourite five I hope you enjoyed this video I know it's a bit of a short one um, but if you've enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and if you're new please consider subscribing I'm a mum of two to Andrew and Ava who is three and six I upload four times a week on a Monday, Wednesday, Thursday and a Saturday at 7pm. I do videos on cleaning, hauls, speed clean, um, fashion, beauty, lifestyle, motherhood. So if it's something you're interested in watching, please subscribe and don't forget to press that bell. But I hope you have an amazing rest of the day and I will see you soon. Bye!